In terms of a search of the pockets, that's a little bit different, or a search of somebody's uh, pocket or backpack or whatever it might be. That need not be complied with in, either in an encounter, of course, because it's completely consensual, but also even in a stop. Well, of course, they can ask you to comply, but, it, and, but you do not have to comply. And the reason that is that the officer's search powers under a stop and frisk are limited to weaponry, reasonable suspicion that there are weapons. So they can't simply ask you to uh, or even order you to turn over your, what's in your pockets unless they have suspicion that there's a weapon there. And generally speaking, there's not going to be a weapon that could hurt them in, for example, a pocket. At least that's true in most cases. So basically, there are kind of dancing rules between the officer and the suspect that uh, not many people know in advance. But those are the rules. And giving you these rules, Professor Dan Capper from Fordham Law School, and I'm here for Talks on Law.